moment uh, today. Those of you who bought tickets at TKT yesterday are like, why is this guy staying on stage and talking about it? <laughs> now, I'm, not, I'm not raising money, but there's a lot of love in the room today. Um, uh, this, this show uh, came about because of a dream and an inspiration from a man who lived his life and uh, went through his career in a way that inspired a musical, which is pretty amazing to, uh, to know. And look, we have his grandson, John McKay. Who knows <laughs> uh, We actually want to, Jacob, can you uh, do your thing? Yeah. Um, I mean, we're not going to take up much of your time, I promise. And if you have to go for a reservation, go. But this, is, uh, this has been 24 years in the making for me. And so uh, today was meant to be my last show. I'm actually doing two on Tuesday so we can film it for posterity, which is very exciting. But, um, <laughs> but we do not let this moment go by without thanking people because we stand up here and uh, we get cheered every night, and that's sort of how it goes every night, and because of this man's story, and the energy, and the family, and the love up here, that's what, what happens, and we're gonna miss that. We're gonna miss making people happy every day. I had a guy here last week who was a retired neurosurgeon. He said, this is, I was supposed to die last year. This is my fifth time seeing the show. I keep looking forward to it, and it keeps me going because it makes me so happy. And that's the stuff I'm gonna miss. tell this guy's story together, his family. And this family is not just who you see up here. Uh, Jacob and uh, Rhonda, come on out, and the rest of the cast. Um, we have three glorious standbys, Freddie Kimmel. <laughs> this is our family here, because the various nights show us is doing the thing, so. Yep, and the real stay, the real show uh, uh, here is backstage, as you can imagine. How many costume changes do you have? Seventeen. Seventeen <laughs> costume changes. So where's our wardrobe? Where's our wardrobe? Come on. out in the middle of the show and have to change your mic, so thanks for doing that. <laughs> um, but this is this is what happens, and, and our crew, Jacob and Rhonda, where's Rhonda? You already here, Greg? And the band, how about the band? <laughs> and the guy there, the there, Arthur, who runs the whole thing. <laughs> Today are the people who really made this happen. Uh, uh, our choreographer Josh Pergas, I believe, is here. Are you here, Josh? Is Josh here? No, I thought Josh was here. That's all right. <laughs> this happened. Josh Pergas, our choreographer, like world-class choreographer, he stuck to this right from the beginning when we started this uh, this journey way back in Florida. So Josh Pergas and Christopher McGovern, are you here? <laughs> hey, Christopher McGovern. This is fun. This is the score. Most of the score you heard tonight is, is uh, Chris's. He didn't write Yankee Doodle Dandy, but he wish he did. Um, <laughs> so we just had Bill Castellino, our great director, uh, who uh, sort of helped us uh, shape this um, right from when we, we got going with the production. But the other guy who I met after I started this dream of creating a show about James Cagney was Peter Cawley, and he's here, the book writer. And we, we did the first story together, and I wrote a song about Peter Cawley. journey a long time ago, when we, when we started the York, we want to thank the York Theater where we did it uh, in the spring of 2015, had a five week run there that got us um, the thing that really got us here, which is Ricky Kane Larimer. And Ricky, are you here? Woo! 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 So, come on. So this is Ricky Kane Larimer. I call her LA, which stands for Little Angel. <laughs> because she is, and you're dressed appropriately for that title today. <laughs> and we just want to, uh, we just needed people to see you, Ricky, because um, Ricky really, this has been a passion of mine for so long. We went to New York, Ricky saw it, she's on the board there, and her passion joined 
our passion and my passion, and, and uh, she said, we're going to do this in New York, and we did. And uh, Ricky, I'll forever be grateful to you. We got you a little something just to, from the cast to remember this. This was commissioned from um, Justin Squiggs Robertson, who's sort of the um, artist, uh, you know, when Hirschfeld, when he's, he's sort of the new Hirschfeld from Broadway, and he did one for us, and this is for you. Thank you. And so I'm speaking on behalf of the cast, but if you will just indulge me for one moment. Um, this, this started as, a, oh, we should thank the CAG nerds who are here. The CAG nerds, yeah. Uh, thanks, CAG nerds. That's good. This, uh, this whole mess started when an acting teacher said to me, remind me of Jimmy Cagney, and a fire got lit in me to create a show about his life. And uh, the, the, um, the only... Uh, way I got there to act in school and got on from there and have been able to make my way is because of the support of my family and my dad, uh, who's retiring this year after almost 60 years in medicine. He's 83 and just retiring this year as a doctor in Canada. He flew my whole family down here. There's 12 of them who came from Canada today. Um, so, uh, he flew my whole family I'm so grateful that my family and my dad and Karen from down today, my mom who's watching from above, and the whole thing is all made better because of my wife who has supported me through this, the endurance. I feel like I'm accepting an award now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this, is not, this is bad. But, uh, but this requires a lot of my life, and she has not flinched once in the face of that. So I'm so grateful to her. And to all of you, there's a lot of love in the room today, and I just thank you so much for making that for the